Welcome back guys to another Bucky video. Today we're talking about Kaio Retsu. His history, his past, his role in the story, techniques, abilities, fights, and everything we know about him currently in the story. If you're new here and enjoy these Bucky videos, make sure to subscribe and if you want to talk more about its greatness, make sure to join the Discord. Link is in the description. So I'll start off with his past. So Retsu learns martial arts at the Balin Temple. During his training days, he was pretty much uh, chosen to take part in the forbidden pretty much uh, test, the Kaio title test. This title is given only to the best fighters of Chinese martial arts, as we know in the uh, Ratai tournament that's coming up in the uh, anime, I mean. Retsu was locked up in a cell, uh, defended by six armed guards, but he uh, freed himself from there, beat up the guards, and appeared on the uh, KO exam. He was angry that he wasn't able to take part in the test to become a, a KO, but his master told him or led him to a place in a great tunnel where it was located. He told him that there was a man who dug this tunnel in one night using his fist and legs. As a turned out later this man was uh, Kaio Dorian. Retsudo thought he was forbidden to take part in the exam because of his uh, nature but his master explained to him that he couldn't make him Kaio just because of Retsudo's poor skills. The truth is that Retsudo already had great skills in China's martial arts at that moment and he was very well versed in the martial arts but he just felt that he had pretty much more potential within him and that he could become stronger if he continued to train and got more motivating to become that title. So what it says here is that he's already strong enough or already had the skills to become uh, that title or be recognized as that title but his master saw pretty much more within him that he become stronger and better so not giving him the title will lead him to train harder and be motivate himself even harder to become maybe an even higher level of that uh, already prestigious title. One day during training in a temple Retsudo killed his sparring partner maybe that's why he could have been left in the cell it was kind of unclear what was going on about that but he did end up killing a training partner at one stage then later on eventually after some time he was able to gain the title of Kano. We don't actually see that exact moment happen from my memory in the manga and anime but yeah, yeah I was able to eventually gain that title from some insane training. And that's his past prior to the pretty much Bucky story. Now where he's pretty much first introduced in the Bucky story which is the Maximum Tournament Saga. To During this Maximum Tournament Saga he's able to win the first three battles with quite ease, not really much damage until he got to the semi-finals where his opponent was the protagonist Bucky Hanma. The young champion of the underground arena of that time and son of you know the almighty Yudra Hama the strongest creature in the world. Before the battle begins Bucky's father meets his red suit and wants to pretty much tell him about his son's strength and laughs at him saying you, you're afraid of Bucky aren't you and then as the match begins the match begins and it turns out that Bucky prepared himself for a fight by analyzing Retsudo's movements at some point in the battle Bucky even uses the spinning lotus techniques uh, Retsudo tries to use many Chinese based techniques but Bucky's able to figure out and neutralize many of them Retsudo starts using his special skill of powerful feet and dominates the fight eventually however Bucky gets into a strangle hold on him which Yujo calls a Hanma blood type based technique or a pretty much power up of the Hanma blood which is a unique type of skill to the pretty much Hanma family as they you know bred to fight. Bucky wins the fight and almost breaks uh, Retsudo's neck during the fight. He also featured in the next saga the evil death row convict saga where he has some battle against some of the convicts and against some other martial arts some cool stuff there but he doesn't really shine until the pretty much uh, tournament arc that's coming up in the anime 2020 Bucky anime which is coming soon. I'm not going to spoil anything major in that because I'm still working on some uh, videos for that and I'm going to be covering that when it starts airing in the uh, anime so get hyped for that but he does have a lot of cool moments in that and very prominent in that saga as that's pretty much the tournament of all the uh, Kanos all the pretty much Chinese fighters top Chinese fighters with some like American and Japanese fighters such as Yujiro Bucky and some other ones I don't want to want to spoil in this video but it's going to be a great fight between pretty much the Chinese great fighters such as Retsudo and anyone who has the rank of Kano and even above that and then all other great fighters across the world one of my favorite arcs in the whole series thus far now i'll go over his abilities so accomplished fighter with all with many uh chinese based martial arts allowing him to get the rank of uh, ko strong enough to beat uh many other top fighters in the maximum tournament and a single one of his punches managed to damage uh dorian's brain which is a strong fighter as well you may think he's a pretty you know stand-up fighter with all about the martial arts but he has shown tendencies to fight somewhat dirty and somewhat scummy but Sudo fights with dirty tactics such as using his hair to blind his opponents or using his shirt to throw dirt as projectiles but Sudo once used a mind based technique on himself which allowed him to automatically use techniques and expand upon his reflexes and I'll go over his name techniques and I'll talk about some spoiler stuff based on his ability after that so 
if you want to click on the video if you want to be spoiled. So his name techniques go by the names of Spinning Lotus, Sun K, Invisible Squash, Toe Use, Windmill Punch, Crushing Fist, Match Punch, uh, Defense uh, Sayori, Roll Kick, and Leaning Forward Stance. They're all his name techniques that he's used thus far in the story. And now I'll go over some spoiler stuff about his techniques that I, if you don't want to, if you don't read up to date on the manga, you may not want to watch that, but there's some spoiler stuff for that. Uh, so he's at, once he uses that pretty much mental state, he's able to pretty much use that reflexes. He was still defeated by Pickle, thanks to Pickle's like insane, unhuman strength in the battle. But according to Yujiro Hanma, Retsuda was able to awaken the Hanma spirit within Bucky Hanma due to his overwhelming strength and how much he's really capable of. And still going on spoiler stuff, ever since pretty much he's first introduced, he has been striving to become more and more powerful, even practicing non-Chinese martial arts to pretty much develop his style and become stronger as a whole. And he pretty much later strived as Chinese second strongest rider right after the one and only uh, Kaio Kaku. And he ended up, you know, as we, as many manga readers know, if you don't read the manga you don't want to be spoiled click off now but he ended up the second strongest Chinese fighter until his death and that's it for our boy uh, Retsu if you enjoyed today's video of Bucky make sure to subscribe let me know your thoughts down in the comments leave a like and let me know down in the comments what character you want me to cover next for Bucky and if you haven't already make sure to check out my other characters that I've covered I've covered Jack Hanma, Yujiro, Biscuit Oliver, Dopo Orochi and just let me know what character you want me to cover next and that's it guys peace <laughs>